a local woman says that her kitchen floods every time it rains and apartment manages management is doing nothing about it. 10 News reporter Allison Ash live downtown tonight. Allison, you say this woman isn't buying the latest problem to fix this problem. Now, Erica Ugate has lived up on the fifth floor of the Cedar Gateway Apartments. Uh, since 2012, she was actually one of the first residents to move in here. But she says from the very beginning, when it rains out here, floods up there. Okay. From the ceiling down the uh, window, that's what... Uh, All that yeah. was from the rain this morning? Yeah, that's from the, the, from the morning. Erica Yuge says she's had it. This morning's rain wasn't that bad, but look at her kitchen floor. It's covered in puddles. I have to uh, keep towels to prevent the water going to my bedroom. Every towel she owns is used to sop it up. And it's not just the water that bothers her, it's a safety issue. Yuge shot this video of the water dripping from the can lights in her ceiling. And this nursing student from Russia worries about mold buildup inside her cabinets. Water down there too. It's been happening now for four years, and that's how long she's been complaining about it. But nothing gets done, like when it rained right before Christmas. I called the emergency guy and he said, put towels on the floor and get over it. Get over I called the emergency guy and he told me the people who built Cedar Gateway didn't waterproof it properly. The leasing company has been trying to get the contractor to fix it, but it hasn't happened. That's not what Yuge wants to hear. At least if it's such a big deal, you know, if it's, it's going to take so much, I don't know, to repair everything, at least every time it rains, provide me with stuff to keep my apartment safe. Now, I checked the website for the California affairs it clearly states landlords are supposed to provide effective weatherproofing and weather protection for all of their tenants but uh, the maintenance man here didn't she says didn't even bother to check in with her after she called and complained about the water this morning he did tell her though that repairs will begin on tuesday so it looks like it's going to be a soggy weekend for her reporting live in cortez hill allison ash 10 news